हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू इंग्लिश पाठशाला टुडे वेल डू रीडिंग प्रैक्टिस ऑफ अ शॉर्ट स्टोरी बाय द स्किन बॉन्ड एंड द नेम ऑफ द स्टोरी इज द गर्ल ऑन द ट्रेन बिफोर आई स्टार्ट द रीडिंग प्रैक्टिस आई वॉन्ट टू गिव यू गाइज अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द स्टोरी इन दिस स्टोरी द ऑथर इज प्लेइंग द रोल ऑफ अ ब्लाइंड मैन हु इज ट्रेवलिंग इन अ ट्रेन द मैन हु इज ट्रेवलिंग इन द ट्रेन ही इज ब्लाइंड एंड दे आर ही मैट अ गर्ल and the story is about their brief encounter their discussion their talk during their meet in the train so let's start the reading session i had the compartment on the train to myself up to rohana and then a girl got on the couple seeing her off were probably her parents they seemed very anxious about her comfort and the wo- and the woman gave the girl detailed instructions as where to to keep her things when not to lean out of the windows and how to avoid speaking to strangers as i was blind i couldn't tell what the girl looked like but i knew she wore slippers from the way they slept against her heels and i liked the sound of her voice are you going all the way to dehradun i asked i asked her as the train pulled out the station i must have been sitting in a dark because my voice startled her she gave She gave a little exclamation and said, "I didn't know anyone else was here." Well, it often happens that people with good eyesight fail to see what is right in front of them. They have too much to observe, I suppose. Whereas those who can't see take in what register most tellingly on their senses. I didn't see you either at first. I said, "But I heard you come in." I wondered if I should be able to prevent her from discovering that I could not see. I thought provided I keep to my seat it should not be too difficult. I am getting down at Saharanpur the girl said. My aunt is meeting me there. Where are you going? To Dehradun and then to Mussoorie I replied. Oh lucky you. I wish I were going to Mussoorie. I love the mountains especially in October. Yes, this is the best time, I said, calling on my memories when I could see. The hills are covered with wild dahlias, the sun is delicious and at night you can sit in front of a log fire and have a hot drink. Most of the tourists have gone and the roads are quiet and almost deserted. She was silent and I wondered if my words had touched her or whether she thought me a romantic fool. Then I made a mistake. What is it like outside? I asked. She seemed to find nothing strange in the question. Had she noticed that I could not see? But her next question removed my doubts. Why don't you look out of the window? She asked quite naturally. She seemed to find nothing strange in the question. Had she noticed that I could not see? but her next question removed my doubts why don't you look out of the window she asked quite naturally i moved easily along the berth and felt for the window ledge the window was open and i faced it making a pretense of studying the landscape in my mind's eye i could see the telegraph post flashing by have you noticed i ventured that the trees seems to be moving while we seem to be standing still that always happens she said i turned from the window and faced the girl and for a while we sat in a silence you have an interesting face i commented i was becoming quite daring but it was a safe remark few girls can resist flattery she laughed pleasantly a clear ringing laugh It's nice to be told that she said I'm so tired of people telling me that I have a pretty face Oh so you do have a pretty face I thought and aloud I said well an interesting face can also be pretty You are very gallant she said but why are you so serious We will soon be at your station I said that abruptly Thank goodness it's a short journey I can't bear to sit in a train for more than 2 or 3 hours yet I was prepared to sit there for almost any length of time just to listen to her talking 
her voice had the sparkle of a mountain stream. As soon as she left the train, she would forget our brief encounter, but it would stay with me for the rest of the journey and for some time after. The engine whistle shrieked, the carriage wheel changed their sound and the rhythm. The girl got up to collect her things. I wondered if she wore her hair in a bun or if it is hung down loose over her shoulders or if it was cut very short. The train drew slowly into the station. Outside, they were shouting of porters and vendors and near the carriage door a high-pitched female voice that must have belonged to the girl's aunt. Goodbye, said the girl. She was standing very close to me, so close that the perfume from her hair was tantalizing. I wanted to raise my hand and touch her hair, but she moved away. And only the perfume still lingered where she had stood. There was some confusion in the doorway. A man getting into the compartment stammered an apology. Then the door banged shut and the world closed out again. I turned to my berth. The guard blew his whistle and we moved off. The train gathered speed as the wheels took up their song and the carriage groaned and shook. I found the window and sat in front of it, staring into the daylight that was darkness for me. Once again, I had a game to play and a new fellow traveller. I am sorry, I am not as attractive a travelling companion as a girl who just left, he said trying to make a conversation. She was an interesting girl, I said. Can you tell me, did she keep her hair long or short? I don't remember, he replied, sounding puzzled. It was her eyes I noticed, not her hair. She had such beautiful eyes but they were of no use to her. She was completely blind, didn't you notice? So friends, I will tell you summary in Hindi. कि इसमें जो ऑथर हैं रशकिन बॉन्ड वो ट्रेन से कहीं सफ़र कर रहे हैं वो देहरादून जा रहे हैं और रास्ते में ट्रेन में उनको एक लड़की मिलती है जिसके साथ वो एक गेम खेलते हैं एक तरह का गेम मीन्स वो ब्लाइंड है और ऐसा प्रिटेंड करते हैं उस लड़की के सामने कि दैट ही कैन सी जब वो लड़की ट्रेन से उतरती है और दूसरा कंपेनियन ट्रेन में चढ़ता है ट्रेन में एक और पर्सन आता है वो उससे उसके बारे में पूछते हैं उस लड़की के हेयर्स के बारे में पूछते हैं कि उसके बाल शॉर्ट थे कि लॉन्ग थे तो वो कंपेनियन उन्हें बताता है रशकिन बॉन्ड को बताता है कि द गर्ल वॉज कम्प्लीटली ब्लाइंड ही नोटिस्ड हर आइज ओनली नॉट द हेयर्स द गर्ल वॉज कम्प्लीटली ब्लाइंड तो जहाँ रशकिन बॉन्ड उसको ट्रिक करने की कोशिश कर रहे थे कि छुपाना चाह रहे थे कि वो ब्लाइंड है जबकि वो खुद ट्रिक हो जाते हैं मतलब लड़की जो है इस बात को पूरी तरीके से छुपा पाती है कि वो ब्लाइंड है द शॉर्ट समरी ऑफ द स्टोरी तो आई होप गाइज यू लाइक दिस वीडियो फिर मिलते हैं किसी और वीडियो में किसी और कंटेंट के साथ टिल देन गुड बाय थैंक यू